we're in the parking lot and so is the river. The boat ramp's probably 75 yards down that hill right there normally. Took a while to find some bigger shad, but we got them. We got some real nice ones in there. Check it out. Uh oh. What the? What do you got, son? <laughs> Are you wore out? Yeah. How big is this fish? We cannot lose this fish. Get him up here. He's in the net and that is a whale. <laughs> that is a fish right there, guys. No wonder it took him 30 minutes to reel it in. All right, Landon, you gonna hold him? All right, guys, well, there's his new PB. That's his second one within a couple months. He caught one that was 53 pounds, I think, and this one's about 57, or yeah, about 57, 57 and a half, something like that. It's a dang monster, I know that. <laughs> All right, he's ready. I'm gonna let go of him. Get your finger off. He gone. I'm gonna hook him through the bottom of the mouth and just barely catch the top. And I'm gonna do it at an angle. Go in through one side of the mouth and come out the opposite side through one of his nostrils. Still got a lot of hooks on and that you'll never sling that bait off on these bigger shad like that. So this spot right here I'm gonna set up in. We got an outside bend with a little hole in it. It averages probably 35 foot and then there's a hole here about 45, 50 foot. A lot of the banks came down into the river. There's a lot of trees and logs and stuff hung up right in here. I love fishing wood cover for blue cats in the winter time when that water temperature gets down around 40. fish peel drag like this in a long time. Got a good fish right here. I'm I'm pretty excited. I see bubbles. Look at that. I think out another line. Oh yeah. Looks like another 50. Close to it. Forty nine point three four. I tore the weight of the net off before I weighed him. So he's one gizzard chat away from being a fifty pound. Heck yeah, we done it again. That's one heck of a fish. You know it don't come easy. We put in the work catching the bait, finding the fish, traveling. You know it's it's not it's nothing easy about it. But if you put in the work, you'll find some big old fish like this. All right, I'm gonna get him back in and find another one. We still got a whole day ahead of us. Oh. <laughs> you better sit down, he'll take you with him. <laughs> oh, 
Bring him up. Here, let him go. Let go, let go. Let him drift back. He's in the net. What'd you catch that fish on, Landon? Cut shad. You ready to put him back in? Yeah. Yeah, put him back in, let him grow up. You gonna put him back in? Going back. Hopefully the gill nets don't get him. It's rolling on you. Come on, guys, me and Landon are getting set up. We're gonna do some night fishing tonight out here on the Ohio River. Hoping to get on some flatheads tonight. It's that time of year. Water temperature 63 degrees. Got some three-way rigs and some Carolina rigs. I really like the three-way rigs for a flathead fishing with cut bait or live bait. I just think it gives a really, really natural presentation. You get these smaller skipjack, nine and 10 inch, the yearlings, those are the ones that were born this spring. A lot of people throw them back, but I actually really like them. I'll show you what I do with them. I've got two eight all hooks here, about six inches apart. Both of them are snailed. I'm gonna put the top hook through his nose. And I'm gonna put the bottom hook right above the dorsal fin. And then I just trim it off right behind the hook. You don't always have to cut the head off and use a body chunk. You can double hook rig that thing. You can catch a small fish, a big fish. It's a great piece of bait right there. Oh, he's bearing a funny one. Yeah, look at that boy. He, he inhaled that bait. He got the top hook. Well, that was on a whole skip jack and the last one was on a whole skip jack. Those little 10 inchers. Nice little fish right there, but we want his granddaddy. I'm just throwing it out to the side of the boat in the fast current and letting the current sweep it in. Wherever that bait settles in at is also the place where all the bait and stuff's gonna be running because that's right at the edge of the seam. Look there, look there. That's your fish, Landon. Here, oh, he's hooky, he's hooky. We're gonna need the net. No. Flathead or blue? Well, he's been staying down, so. Oh, look, there's another one. Doubled up, doubled up. Just let him go, he dropped it. He might, he might go back and get it, though. Hard to beat fresh skipjack. I don't know how long this bite's gonna last, but boy, it sure is fun when they're biting like this. Oh, that's a big fish. I didn't know it was like that. Real. He's showing me how he feels about this. There you go. Just keep pumping it. You'll get him up here. Look at that rod the whole time. Make sure it's staying bent. This has been a 10 minute flight right here, every bit of it. That's a little bit too much fish for you in this current, isn't it? My back's broken. Here, you got a real man. I'm done. I can't You're done? I can't do it. All right, here, hold the camera. Let's see what you got here. Oh, there's a little bit of fish right there. See that mouth? No wonder you couldn't really man land it. It's a daggone monster. Okay. Let's get him in here. I need a bigger net. Yes! <laughs> now look how deep that thing's hooked. I mean, it's buried. It's not a very big hook, but it's got a lot of gap. That's all you need right there, really. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, let's get a weight on him. I want to get him back in as quick as I can. I guess you take the net off. He's a 44 pounder, but, anyways, it's a tag on monster. I know that. All right, we're going to get this guy revived and get him back in the water. Somebody else can catch him, make somebody else's day. 
be tired and I'm tired. That was a heck of a fight right there for both of them. You can see how fast the turning is right here. There he goes. He's ready to go. Man, this has been awesome, guys. Look at him. Oh! He's out there on top. Do you hear him? Oh, that might be a big blue. Oh, gosh. Oh, I think we got some tangled up rods here. Uh, tangled up. He's into everything. It's worth it. Gosh, he's peeling drag. Look at the mess. It's a big fish, Landon. That's, that's a dang big fish. Oh! My God! <laughs> that's a big dang fish. That's one heck of a fish, but I am wore out. That was about a 30 minute, at least a 30 minute battle fighting all them tangled lines and pulling the anchor and then weighing the fish. We might call it a day now. I don't know. Everything we got's gonna have to be re-rigged if we fish again. But it's been one heck of a day out here, guys. He didn't have no problem, did he? Oh, He's doing better than I am right now, I promise you that. Old Landon's hooked up with the hog here. We haven't seen him yet, but it seems like a decent fish. You look like a bank. It's a Ooh. big fish. It's a very big fish. Right. Oh, don't pull me in. Right, get him in the net, get him in the net. Real, 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 real. Put him in the net. Oh yeah, it is a big fish. Good God. That's a monster. All right, Lainey, come back here with me and get in the picture. But we're on a small lake today. It's about 3,000 acres. It's fed by a small river, and there is zero current in this lake ever. Unless there's a major flood, you might get a little bit of current. So since there's no current, these fish can literally be anywhere. So the best technique that I found when you're fishing something like that is to drift or drag. We're going to be dragging today, and I rode around and kind of kind of just eyeballed what depth of water I've seen the most fish in and it looks like 15 to 20 foot. Yeah, for those of you guys that don't understand dragging, you're just trolling with the troll motor at a slow speed, uh, point, point 0.4 to point 0.8, somewhere in that range, depending on water temperature. The colder the water, normally the slower you want to go. But uh, this long dragging weight, this has just got lead in it and it just it's really flexible so it can drag over the bottom without getting hung. And then we've got a long leader here with a peg float and a few inches below the peg float. I've got a circle hook tied on there. And we're just gonna, we're gonna pull, pull our baits on the bottom really slow. And uh, hopefully we drag them into a big catfish. And if you guys aren't familiar with what a planer board does, you clip this on your line once you get everything out and all this does is pull your line out to the side that's its only purpose so it allows you to cover more water on on one single drift basically These things are slamming it today, ain't they? Mm -hmm. This is a good fish right here, too. He's pulling the boat backwards. I gotta get my remote. Oh, he's staying down. This is gonna be a good fish. We're gonna need the net. Go grab the net, Landon, and get it ready. Yeah, when he got to the boat, he just stopped. Look there, he's going to take some drag. We caught this fish in about 30 foot of water. Well, I guess out there where that board was at, probably 
30 to 35 foot. Oh, there he comes. What a, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, boy. All right, y'all, so that is a nice quality fish, especially for where we're fishing at. There's some nice fish in this lake, but uh, they're hard to come by sometimes. And we found one today. He got my blood pumping a little bit. He gone. So we ran up into a tributary a couple miles off the Ohio River. The water temperature is about three degrees warmer up in here than it is out on the big river. The water's also got a little more clarity to it. It's not quite as muddy. And the current speed up in here is about one mile an hour, which is absolutely perfect for this time of year. like a pretty good fish he's not really pulling or anything but he feels heavy oh, there he goes he's taking a little drag drag's a little bit tight actually i don't want to bring him up right now because he hasn't really look at him he's taking it now hadn't really done much fighting yet and if you bring these fish up on top of the water and they're still full of energy and they go to flopping that's when bad things happen. That's when they'll pull that hook or get that leader wrapped around their fin. I'd say he's over 30 pounds. It's over now, buddy. That is a, you don't realize how big they are till you pick them up. That's a dang good fish right there. Real good fish. Hard as these things are to come by, we definitely want to make sure we get her back in good shape. She's ready to go. There you go, buddy. The purple is 30 foot, the blue out here is 40 foot, and the dark blue is 50 foot. So we're right on that ledge. And these fish, I believe, are just cruising up that ledge. We marked several decent fish as we were cruising up through here. So we just parked right there on that drop, anchored up, just kind of fan casted right here. Yeah, that's a good fish. Man. He's coming up now. Is your drag good? Because that's braid. I run a little looser drag with braid. You got a good fish, Landon. Real good fish. Oh, lucky monster rod. We've caught more big fish on that rod than all the other ones combined. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, Lord. that's a 50. That's a 50 pounder. <laughs> Look at that, boy. That's awesome. How that, how's that for your first one of the day, Landon? I mean, probably the last considering how bad my back hurts. I think it's a dang shark. Look at that head. Right around 50 pounds. I thought he was a little bigger than that, but I think he just looks bigger because he's got that big old head. I think this is a male. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing back in to make sure we uh, get him back healthy. We 
caught that one on a pretty good size head and the water temperature is 38 degrees. And the last fish was 17 pounds and it come off a big head too, so. So it's early February. We don't have the best conditions today. The river's dropping pretty hard, but it was such a nice day. We just had to get out and fish. We're just gonna go out here and enjoy the afternoon and see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky and hook into a monster. So ride along with us and let's go have some fun. back here cutting bait and I didn't even see the rod go down. I just heard it start squeaking in the rod over. Oh, look at him go. Look at that rod. I haven't really gained any ground yet. He's kind of still in the same spot that he was when I hooked him. He comes up every now and then and then he goes back down. Oh, he's got me shaking a little bit. Man, I hope he's hooked good because he is pulling hard. Look at that. Man, he's making me nervous. Oh, no, he's hooked good. I think I got him going now. Oh, yeah, there he is. First fish of the day is a good one. If there's one biting, there's gonna be more biting. We just gotta find them. There he is, guys. I really wasn't expecting to have a whole lot of luck today with the water drop and everything. But that's just, that's why you go fishing, guys. Go fishing every chance you get because you never know when that big one's gonna bite. He was ready to go. We sat here for another 10 to 15 minutes after we caught that 46. We haven't had another bite. We're just going to pick the anchor up and drift back about 200 foot. We seen several fish when we came through. We just got to hope we can get them to bite. This spot that we just anchored up in rolls down about 10 foot and there was just fish scattered all along the back of that drop. And most of them resembled catfish, just how they were staged up and the color pattern and stuff on the arch. We got a little slower current here too. Out here on this side of the boat, we got a little bit of a seam. We got about three mile an hour current over here. And then over here on this side, we got about 1.5. So a lot of stuff going for this spot. We're gonna get some baits down there. Uh oh, is that a fish? That's a fish, it's a big fish. Look how slow it's going down. It is a fish. Oh. No, that's a fish. It's a big fish. Oh my gosh, Landon. I don't know if you can handle it. We got what we was looking for right here, I believe. Here. That's on our new reel, too. That's a big fish. I can tell by how, how the rod went down. I don't know how long you've been able to fight him. That's what's all the <laughs> You in for a ride here. This is going to be a long process. Gosh, he's pulling hard. My goodness, what a fish. That 
There's the bubbles. Uh, he's going back down now, isn't he? Yeah, he's going back down. Oh! That's your, that's your 80. That's your 80 pound fish, Landon. Yes, it is, too. We gotta make sure we don't make any mistakes right here. I'm gonna have like an anxiety attack or something. Just not knowing how his hook's killing me. Like if I can see his hook good, I'll be fine. There he goes again. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let a little bit of anchor rope out. Now you make sure you keep it tight, okay? I'm not gonna completely undo us, but just don't. Just make sure you gain some ground, but keep it tight. Whatever you do, keep it tight. Try to get him up to the surface and we'll just try to net him right now. All right, come on, let's make a count. Come on. Oh, he's about there, isn't he? Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Oh, God. How big's that one, Landon? I don't know how I'm going to weigh it. I need, I need Mike here to weigh it for me. Check out the mouth. We just caught a 46, and this it literally looks double the size, doesn't it? What? It looks double the size of that one we just caught. Six. This is going to be the biggest fish that we've ever caught right here. All right, tell me what you see, because I'm not going to be able to look at it from where I'm at. Oh, my, it's a 90. 90? 99. No. 89. I'll try one more time here. 88, 88, 89, 89. I don't call a fish, or we, you caught a fish that I can't pick up. Take some pictures. Get this guy back in. Oh, here we go. Oh, I love it. He's ready to go. There he goes, back healthy. We try to make sure we got him back in as quick as possible. Got a quick wait and a couple pictures, but around here where we're at, there's not many of those. So when you catch one, you got to take good care of it. I don't even know what to say right now, guys. I'm just gonna have to catch my breath and calm down. I knew when that rod went down that it was something serious. I knew it had to be. It, it was the slowest takedown ever. So the bait we were using was cut buffalo. Tatanka. Tatanka. We come out here just for a couple hours, the afternoon trip, and uh, didn't expect too much, and bam, nailed two really good fish and one epic fish. Just pulled up to the ramp here. It looks like we got some really good current and we got our bumping rods with us. We're gonna to try to do some bumping today. This will be the first time I've picked up a bumping rod in several months, so really excited for that. We're gonna to try to go out here and catch us some fresh skipjack. So let's go out here and get after them, guys.
We're getting ready to see him. Oh, no, there he goes. Back down again. What is it? I don't know, but he's heavy. That bait wasn't down there three seconds, was it? Look at him. He was just one. I can't get him up. I mean, it's a stiff rod. And I got it doubled over on him. Oh! oh. Let me see it. That was a fight right there, boy. Well, you can tell it's springtime because these fish are fired up. My forearm's so up. I'm pumped up, guys. Fish are biting. Still remember how I do this? Yeah. You sure it ain't me, hung? I got one on too. No. He said he, no. He said my ring. <laughs> got a fish. Oh. No. He said, no. Look at this. <laughs> Couldn't get my reel latched. This is a big fish. This might be your biggest fish ever. Wait, he finally got it done. All right, get him back in. That's a nice fish. So our current speed is about two and a half miles an hour, give or take a little bit, depending on where you're at in this area. We have our trailer motor deployed and I'm running my trailer motor about on about half power. And we're actually slowing the boat down from that two and a half to two mile an hour current. We're slowing that down to one mile an hour current. So the boat is still drifting, but it's drifting a lot slower than the actual current is. Oh. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. God, did you see that? I did. You talk about a thumb burner. <laughs> Oh gosh, he just. <laughs> that my hands pull away. Yeah. Here you go. It's another good one, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Don't fall out of the boat. Oh, there he goes, man. He'll... I got this drag too tight. He about brought me to my knees. It's hitting me too. Grab his tail. If you hold that tail tight, it, he won't move. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and get him back. Cause he, right. he, no, don't let go of his tail. No, 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 no. There he is. Loose. Oh. Gosh, that was the meanest fish I've ever tried to handle. Get the net back out whenever you get done eating. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we had one rod left in the water. I started reeling this in to bring it in because we we're gonna go ahead and call it. And this one's got a fish on it, unreal. I was trying to break the line. I was trying to rip it up off the bottom. I thought it was hung on a log. It's, oh, look at that. Oh, there he goes again. God. <laughs> this is a fight right here. Look. God. This is a fish right here, y'all. This ain't no 10 pounder. Oh, look, look. Look at the rod. God. <laughs> oh, I hope we get this fish in. After the day we've had, if we get oh, yeah. this fish in, it's a good one. 
Oh. Oh yeah. Ooh, oh yeah. That's what we need. Gosh. That's it. And the net. <laughs> oh yeah. There he goes. My hand, what a fish. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that arm. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we threw the cast net a little bit and we brought some frozen skipjack. So I've got quail back suckers, drum, and shad. So we've got plenty of bait, plenty of different options to try out. We're kind of looking for a big fish today. We got all the right conditions. With the conditions we've got today, there's no doubt in my mind the fish are here. We just gotta hope that they're gonna cooperate. Listen to the trolling motor. He's having a hard time. Oh my god. I mean, this is not a baby right here. <laughs> All right, Landon, I'm definitely going to need the net. You want to grab it for me real quick? I'm just gonna have to hold pressure on him until he gives up. Keep one stays down this long, you know it's a good fish. <laughs> Nothing I can do. Oh my gosh. <sighs> it's not hung. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, big boy. Get in there. Oh, buddy, I got him. No. Oh, he's long, boy. <laughs> Where's the sun at? Oh, that should be good right there. That's a heck of a fish, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know how long he is, but I'm not gonna mess with him no more. Ooh! Wow. <laughs> he did a death row. I broke my wrist. Uh huh. All right. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to go down and click subscribe. We do our best to put out new videos every week. But I wanna thank you all for watching. God bless you all. And we'll see you in the next one.